everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome! Today is a shop update day. There are lots of new fun bars in the Etsy shop and you should go check them out, I'm just saying. We've got the Castles in the Sand, there's the Berries and Ice Cream, all the different watermelon soaps I did, there's the Lannister Cabernet in there, and then there's today's soap, which is going to be the final soap in that collection. And it's a bit of a transition into fall. It's not quite summer, it's not quite fall, it's like that in the middle part where you're like, it, it's so close, fall is almost here. This soap also was like a spur of the moment thing and I didn't drop this design or buy this fragrance because it came to me on accident. Um, I received a fragrance I didn't order so I had to come up with an idea of what to do with it and I thought maybe I'd try doing a little piping on top with like some roses and some berries. I'm not the greatest at it, but I think every time I do something like this, the soap just turns out so pretty on top. This one turned out, I just can't, I can't stop admiring it and smelling it, and I'm going to be sad when they're all gone. I really do think this is my favorite bar in the whole entire collection. I also added a new ingredient to this of Tessa Silk. I've never used that before, so let's get started. <laughs> let's make a berries and briarwood soap. start off by showing you one of the new additives I'm putting into this soap today. Never used Tessa Silk, always wanted to. One of many additives that can be added to soap, like it's an endless possibilities of the different things. So this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like hair, but it is silk fibers. It comes from the silkworm after it has left its cocoon, it adds lather, it adds shine, and it just feels really amazing on the skin when you put it in your bar. Words of advice when you put this into your soap, how to add it to your soap is you pour, you pour out your water for your lye solution, you chop this up really, really fine. It may look like it's already very, very fine, but you need to chop it up even more. Add it to your water, pour in your lye, and it will all melt and dissolve. dissolve as you stir it into your water. So really excited about putting this into the soap today. So let's start making soap. So my lye water, I've already cut up that Tessa Silk when I poured out my lye solution and I cut it up really finely, like a cotton ball size of it, added it to my water, put in my lye, I've stirred it, it's cooled, I've added some sodium lactate in there. In here are my oils left at room temperature. There's also some coconut milk powder in here, get the bubbles out of there, and some kaolin clay in here. So lots of fun additives in here that we are going to be mixing up. All right, let's put these colors up. I'm going to leave a little unboxing at the end of this video. I got a lot of fun stuff from Soapbox Micas. One of those being this deep sea purple. So I've never used this before, but I really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna add that into my big bucket. Into this guy, I have some Maya Gold Mica from Nurture Soaps. And into this guy, I have some Blackberry Mica also from Nurture Soaps. Those are gonna be my accent colors. So let's just split this off. For the fragrance, I am using Black Raspberry Vanilla. It is a Bath and Body Works dupe. It came from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I don't like it. Well, okay, it's not that I don't like the smell of it. If you guys have been around, you know 
my past with black raspberry vanilla. When I was first learning how to make soap, I had a horrible experience while using that fragrance. I don't even know if it had anything to do with the fragrance. It was just a bad experience. So I have kind of shied away from using it, even though it is a really good scent, very popular, smells really good. I've gradually gotten over that fear when I bought a small little sample of it and made some black raspberry vanilla donuts and it went well. So I'm getting over my fear of it. After I made that soap, I got a package from Wholesale Supplies Plus of just some supplies that I ordered. And when I opened it thinking that I was getting the beach scent that I ordered, and you guys have seen me use that fragrance, so I did eventually get it, they just sent me the wrong one. What did they send me? The black raspberry vanilla. They must be right next to each other on the shelf, but out of all the scents in this world they could have sent to me, they sent black raspberry vanilla. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm going to have to find a use for it, and I'm sure it's going to go well. So far, so good, right? I know what I'm doing now. This also has no Vaseline in it, so it will not discolor my soap. And it does smell a lot better than that Virginia Supply Candle Company one, I will say that. So let's get the mold over here and start pouring. I'm gonna start by doing an in the pot swirl and just pour these colors in from way up high. I know black raspberry vanilla has nothing to do with fall, but I'm hoping that the look of this soap and the design will have fall tones to it and that it isn't really about the black raspberry vanilla scent it's just a very berry and twig type of fragrance that I'm going for here so that's where the idea kind of stemmed from is by getting that fragrance and having to find a way to use it not going to scrape these out just yet I will start pouring into my mold and then I need to add more color to the base in case it didn't sink all the way down to the bottom of the big bucket in you go. And I'll stop there. I still have some left in this bucket. I'll go ahead and scrape out these little guys and then continue to pour it into my mold. So when I realized I wanted to do a fall berry bramble kind of twig like design with this soap, I thought about this headdress that I had made and it has berries and some pretty flowers on it and I wear this to the Renaissance Festival and so that is where the other part of the inspiration has come from. I want to recreate this on top of a soap. So what I have here are some piped blackberries or raspberries, whichever you prefer to call them. I have some soapy soap balls that I rolled up here and some vintage rustic looking roses and for the lack of a better word and how I really feel about them I just think it has a better ring to it when I call them rustic so I'm going to be adding these on top of the soap I also have some soap icing here and here I have some elemental earth by soapbox micas and a small open tip I also have this Moulin Rouge, which was a sample from Soapbox Micas that was discontinued, so I thought I would just use it for the top of this soap, and that is in a Carolyn Crumb, let's see here, 4B, that is a 4B, just to make some um, flowers in between or just some sort of design to fill in spaces, and then I have some Enchanted Forest, also Soapbox, Mi soapbox Micas, and it's a green and a leaf tip. So I'm going to put all of this stuff on top of this soap. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by putting on what's got all like twigs or branches onto each one of these bars. It's just gonna have something that resembles a branch or a twig. And then I will fill in these spaces with my embeds, my flowers, my leaves, and so on until it looks how I want it to. So it is about 100 degrees out and the humidity is just stifling right now and I can't believe I am making any type of fall soap. So that's why I thought this would be a nice transition even though I'm gonna have to get started on my pumpkins and 
my cinnamons and apples and all of that stuff. And then I have to jump into my winter soaps, like Christmas and snow and all that, and it'll be fall. So it's so weird being a soap maker and having to jump around so much. But I love fall. When I think of fall, I think of September. We get all the seasons here in Maryland, and fall is my favorite. My birthday is in September, so I associate my birthday with autumn. I associate it with our wedding anniversary, the Renaissance Festival, I don't know, just all these, all the fun things happen in September in my opinion, and I love September. It really is my favorite month in the whole entire year. So when I celebrate my birthday, it is always at the Renaissance Festival. It is a must. It is an absolute must, and I have to dress up. It is one of my favorite places to be and go and just spend the day, and I love dressing up, and I won't go unless I do dress up, which is why I have that headdress. The outfits that I choose to wear for RenFest are very detail-oriented, they're all handmade, they are very expensive. Like, they cost hundreds of dollars per piece. It is ridiculous, but I love it so much that I have about eight pieces or so that I really treasure. But that doesn't leave me much of a wardrobe because I love going to the Renaissance Festival. So I have to kind of change things up and switch it up a bit, which is why I made those headpieces. And I have more than one. I have one for like every season. I have summery ones that I wear in the beginning of the year and then and when it starts and then beginning of the year and the beginning of the season of when it starts in August and then in the fall and it goes into October I will wear all the other fall ones that I made so Bradley on the other hand he'll dress up sometimes but I can't usually get him to keep it on the whole entire time all right let's stick on some of these in beds before it is too late because this is already starting to set up some so randomly I'm going to start placing the roses because they are the biggest and then I will go back in and put in all of the other fun little fill-ins. with how that looks. I have some golden blush holographic glitter that I got from the soapbox mica order as well and I'm going to sprinkle this on top if I can get it open. I'll let it sit for 24 hours and come back tomorrow and cut it and hope that it looks as pretty as I imagined. So ooh, that's pretty. I love glitter. All right. Right, with rubbing alcohol, I'll give you guys an up close look before I bring you back and cut it. Super happy with this, you guys. Let's cut into it. I'm really hoping I get some nice wispy uh, swirls in there or something along those lines. <laughs> I am digging those colors. That purple is fantastic. It smells so good. Happy accidents. That is what it is. Thank you Wholesale Supplies Plus for accidentally sending me this black raspberry vanilla fragrance because this turned out so cool. I'll have to do a lather test on it to show you guys that there's tufts of silk in there and all the other additives and how much bubbles and lather it creates. So I'll leave that at the end of the video. But I am super happy with that, especially the top of it. Get the top in there. Very, very pretty. And the swirls in the pot swirl. I love it. Even the side of it. I love Super happy with it. All right, let's cut a couple more. As you guys probably well know from the beginning of this video, I'm sure I've mentioned it, there is a shop update today. So be sure to head on over there and see 
you know, what soaps you want to buy. I'm just saying. Go check it out. There's uh, the, all the watermelon soaps in there. There's the beach soap in there. Um, yeah, there's just lots of soaps in there right now. Ice cream soap. So much stuff. So, last of the summer scents before I get started on fall. And it is about... It's still hot out. I know I said it when I made the soap yesterday. This weekend is killer. It is about 98 degrees outside. The heat advisory is in, in effect. And <clears throat> the humidity on top of it is about in the 70s. So it is miserable outside. You can barely breathe out there. Don't even want to go out. We do have a couple parties to go to, but you know, let's go use someone else's air conditioner, right? <laughs> Instead of using ours. So that is the plan today. Hopefully when you guys see this, because it's it's about the, the third week of July right now. When you guys see this, it'll definitely be cooled down by then. But I just feel like there's no point in going outside today unless you own a pool. And I, I have a feeling it's like, not just here, it's all over the country right now. I'm really getting hit with a heat wave. Alright, I hope you guys are ready for more fall scented themed soaps. I know I am ready for fall weather. Not rushing anything at all, believe me. But I am tired of this hot weather and I could use pumpkin everything right about now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, please hit that like button. If you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Stay tuned for all these fall soaps that I'm about to release. And any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later. Just a little unboxing. Just got back from Deep Creek and this has been sitting in my mailbox for a couple days and I have been itching to unbox it and I thought I would wait and show you guys. I haven't even unpacked my suitcase but I'm going to unpack all this stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? Hey you guys, we got some glow in the dark powder. Oh, I am so excited about that because you guys know I like to make moon soaps and the last batch of moon soaps I did did not have any glow in the dark powder. We've got a, a little metal scoop. We've got lots of these little spatula spoon looking guys. There's even a little shovel in there. So a couple months back, Terry over at Soapbox Micah's had a 65% off sale and so I put in a smaller order with her and she of course sent me a whole bunch of different goodies. Look at that. That is really cool. Make some lip balm and put it in there and like a little popsicle. That's really neat. Of course I'm going to keep it for myself because there's only one of them but if I ever, if I like it and ever wanted to buy more, just head over there. We have got some princess pink and some deep sea purple in here. We have got a konjac sponge. I am excited to try that. I've seen a couple videos about using this and like washing your face with it. That's really cool. We'll have to try that out. We've got a whole bunch of different glitters here. Some mermaid dreams, some kaleidoscope, golden blush. Some blue lagoon glitter. Turn on that light, that might help. We've got some ruby slippers. Oh, that's really pretty. We've got some jojoba beads in murder scene. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Wedding toast and some tears of heaven. So lots of glitters. Oh, we've got some titanium dioxide. We'll have to figure out if that's oil or water dispersible. We've got a neon glitter sample pack here. It's 
more spoons. <laughs> Did I get everything in there? Yeah. All right. So this is strawberry peach, sunny side up. That is adorable. <laughs> Brightest orange and green eyed monster neon glitter. Let's see if we can get up close. Look at that. Look at those pretty glitters. And I'm going to assume what I ordered is in this guy. Oops. Open that up. Oh my goodness. What's in here? <laughs> Another spoon. We've got ooh, some Moulin Rouge mica, some red rosebuds and petals. Those will look good on top of some soaps. We've got some sour grapes mica, another spoon. Some more brightest, brightest orange neon glitter. Some indigo powder. I've never tried indigo powder. I'm really excited about that. And some Tussa silk. I've never put that in soap either. We'll have to put that in something. There we go. So, I ordered some golden brass mica. I've got some blue honey, some marcasite, and there's a couple other ones I ordered. I thought these would be really pretty for fall. These colors here, we've got some monarch. I love this kernel mustard yellow. That's a must have for me, and some sun kissed olives. So those are the things I ordered. I ordered these lovely packs of mica here. And then she sent me all this stuff in here. <laughs> so now I'm going to find a way to organize all this because that's how I am. But if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, go check out her website. I'll le link it down below. I've used a lot of her micas and I've been really happy with them. I mean, look at all these goodies. I mean, that is a lot of things she sent me and a lot of things that she offers. So go check out Soapbox Micahs, guys.